a few months ago, I was looking to book an Airbnb and uh, for about a month and a half. I, I have stayed at this place before, but only for a few days. And I, I knew the owner somewhat, and we were going to do, do the deal outside the Airbnb so that she could save on the fees. I, I've, I've known her, and um, I felt safe doing this. And um, so I got to uh, the place uh, early, like two days early, uh, because I, didn't, I really didn't have anywhere to go anyhow. I figured if I couldn't go in, I could still stay in my car in the area. This was back in late June, early July, when it was still comfortable to stay in my car. And uh, this place was, the, the, the city I was in was in phase three already, so it wouldn't be too uncomfortable to hang out um, in the city anyhow. And uh, by this point, I had already gotten over COVID-19. I had tested positive for the antibodies. Okay, so I get to the owner uh, early to, uh, to, to check things out, make, to, to, to make sure everything is good and we're talking, especially to make sure that the Wi-Fi is going to work correctly. That's been a big uh, curse for me these last couple of months. Um, it, it's, it seems like everything will be fine and then, oh, the Wi-Fi doesn't work. And I'm working remotely, so, so I can't really accept a place that's like that. Okay, so um, I get to the home where we check the Wi-Fi, we check everything else. I check to make sure that the places I'm thinking about hanging out are actually reopen and stuff like that. And I'm kind of anticipating moving everything into the home. And I can see this uneasiness in the owner um, on me trying to check in a couple days early. Uh, but I wasn't sure what she was uh, trying to be uh, to, to tell me. And then all of a sudden, she blurted out, like, can you just give me one day? Uh, I really liked it, though. I, I actually got pretty upset when she said it, but not because of the fact that I, I had to delay moving in by one day. I was upset about myself. In the past, there have been times where, I, where I've been uneasy about something, and I didn't blurt it out, right? Whether it be at the workplace, with personal relationships... I talked about an uh, eating disorder kind of problem I used to have. Well, I talked extensively about that this year. I would have clients who show up early and interrupting me while I was eating lunch. And um, I would try to try to give good service, right? Obviously, if I was thinking about getting back to lunch, uh, what I tried to do and what I actually did were very different, right? Had I blurted out, could I just finish my lunch? Could you come back in 15 minutes? I'm pretty sure all these people would have accepted that. I'm pretty sure. But somehow I didn't say it. Uh, I actually got pretty upset at one of my students uh, because I was trying to give all this body language of, uh, can you just come back when it's at your appointment time? The student was actually, uh, this was at the university. Uh, he came 15 minutes before my office hours. He, when I was... Uh, being very impatient with him, he told me that he had drove in traffic for 45 minutes to come here, and um, it was only the second day of the semester. He's already having trouble installing his homework, and he said he, he threatened to drop the course. And um, see, this is where I sometimes struggle with. Um, even though he was in the wrong, he, he, he used such a strong trump card in his uh, negotiation that uh, it, I, it had, it had I started with can I finish my lunch, I might have gotten somewhere with it, but I let him play the, the trump card first, right? Um, that's why I got very upset when that landlord said, could you just give me one day? I wasn't upset at her. I hope I didn't show how upset I was at my face. I was upset at myself for not acting the way she did that day. But uh, that was the most beautiful line I, I heard all year round, really. Uh, with all the COVID situation and all the rioting, to hear such, such a beautiful uh, line, uh, it was nice.